blessed and happy Friday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack, my dear Kababayans. Today is the first day of November 2024, and today the Church celebrates the All Saints Day. Our Gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 1 to 12a. As what I've told you, the solemnity of All Saints Day, which we celebrate today, reminds us of who we are and reminds us that we have a bright future. Bright future. Why bright, Father Jack? Because all of us has the potential to become saints. To be a saint is not a privilege for the few, but this is a vocation for everyone. This is a call for all. Maybe some of you may react and say, Oh, Father Jack, it's very impossible for me to become a saint. Because most of the sinners, uh, most of the sinners, they have a holy life. But hey, take note. Most saints were sinners like us. They have also struggles. But they, and they have also enough uh, struggles and weaknesses they have weaknesses but they grew from strength to strength with the help of god all saints day is a celebration of god's great love and mercy that transform great sinners into the rank of saints my dear friends today dare to be something more because our potentials are endless. And what's the connection of our gospel in today's celebration? Why the Beatitudes? What's the connection of the Beatitudes in today's celebrations, the All Saints Day? It's the Beatitude because the Beatitude is the right attitude to a saintly life. The Beatitude is a perfect guide how to become a saint. The Beatitude are our way to holiness. That's why I challenge myself and you, my dear friends, dare to be a saint. You know, upgrade your desires, accelerate your goals. Sainthood is a noble ambition. Desire for it. Saints we're ordinary people like us. Nobody is born a saint. It is something you have to become. No one is born a saint. But you, my dear friends, have the great potential to be elevated into the rank and pedestals of sainthood. And to be holy like saints, we are challenged to be poor in spirit. To be holy like saints, we are challenged to continue to be meek and gentle, be submissive and, com and compliant to God. To have a holy life, to have a saintly life, we are called to strive for righteousness even if it is difficult. Try to be merciful. To be a saint, we need to be pure, to have a pure of heart. We have, we have to keep our innocence. To be a saint, we need to be a peacemaker, to be a pacifier. We need to accept persecution with a smile. And to have a holy life, we need to be sad when we hurt God because of our sins. To be blessed or true happiness is being with the Lord. Being with the Lord is a perfect joy. That's why, like the saints, let us desire to see God face to face. To seek the face of God must be our joy. To seek the face of God, to live in the house of God must be our desires. My dear friends, intimate fellowship with God is the true foundation of true happiness. The beatitude is the right attitude towards sainthood. If you love and like this reflection, kindly share it with your friends 
share it with your family, make the word of God viral so that many will be blessed. Amen.